Thank you for purchasing the Nelco Guardian Slide Door System. Just like your medical device, your door system is one of your most vital pieces of equipment. If either isn't functioning properly, your patients aren't being treated. As demand for radiation therapy increases, it is even more important that your radiation shielded door equipment functions at maximum efficiency every day. Inefficiencies caused by improper training and neglected maintenance can put treatment schedules, staff, and patient safety at risk. The shielded door system to your treatment room consists of intricate automated components. To ensure that your door equipment is functioning properly and safely, the right training of your personnel is required. This video will provide training on the safe and proper operation of your equipment. In addition, we'll review the safety features of the door system and what to do in case of an emergency. The equipment should be operated only by those who have been trained in its safe and proper operation. There are two types of door controls, the Einstein Door Control Center shown here and a standard push button station. The basic functions for opening and closing the door are the same. Here we'll demonstrate with the Einstein Control Center by pressing the open button. The door will now open to its full open position, allowing patients, staff, and equipment to enter freely into the vault. The door system is also equipped with the partial open feature, which will open the door to roughly a 50% open position, allowing staff to quickly enter the room when the full open is not required. Here you can see how the door stops, allowing enough clearance for staff to enter the room. To close the door from either the full or partial open position, press the close button after first checking to make sure the area near the door is clear of any people or obstructions. Here you can see the door closing from the partial open position. You should never try to enter or exit the room while the door is closing. In the event that you need to stop the door from moving, you can press the stop button on the control center. The door will stop from either opening or closing. The door at this point will not respond to any of the functions on the control center. In order to activate the door again, the stop button will need to be released by pressing it again, which allows the door to operate normally. On the inside of the vault, you can open the door or stop the door as is shown here. This will allow anyone to exit the vault at any time if they need to. The Guardian slide door system can weigh more than 20,000 pounds, which requires significant force to move. For this reason, Nelco takes the safety of the staff, patients, and everyone else very seriously and it's why we've designed many layers of safety features into our door systems. Your door system may be equipped with as many as three safety features designed to prevent staff and patients from coming in contact with the door while it's moving. Above the door, on both the outside and inside of the vault, there are presence sensors. These presence sensors will detect if anything is in the area in front of or adjacent to the door and will prevent it from closing. If the door is closing, as shown here, and the presence sensor detects an object, the door will stop and reverse to the full open position. Another layer of safety is an infrared light curtain, similar to what is used on elevators. As you see in this demonstration, when the door is closing, once the light curtain is broken, the door will behave as it does with the presence sensor. It will stop and reverse to the full open position. The third safety device used to stop and reverse the door are five pressure-sensitive reversing edges located on the leading end of the door. Once the reversing edge contacts anything that exerts five ounces of pressure, the door will stop and reverse, as shown here. You should never use the safety devices to stop the door while it's closing should you need to re-enter the room. Each morning, your equipment should be checked to make sure it's operating properly. First, check to make sure the areas in front of and adjacent to the door are free of any objects and open and close the door to make sure it's working as it should. 
Also check to make sure the safety devices are functioning. If a safety device should happen to fail, a red light on the control box will be lit. A log should be kept of the daily tests of the safety features. In the event a safety feature does not work properly, please contact the Nelco Service Department immediately. In the event of a power loss, there are two redundant systems to open the door. The first is a battery backup system, which will detect the loss of power and automatically open the door. If the battery fails for any reason, there is a backup to that as well, a manual hand crank that is easy to operate. First, locate the box containing the hand crank and open the cover. This will disconnect all power to the motor. Then, simply begin turning the wheel, and while continuing to turn it, press the small button on the bottom of the release lever and pull it toward you. Continue cranking the handle until the door is open and you can enter the vault. The battery backup and the hand crank should be tested on a weekly basis to ensure their proper operation. A log should also be kept of this testing. The battery backup system can be tested by pulling out the button on the cover of the control panel. This will engage the battery and the door will automatically open. When you've completed testing, push the button back in. You can test the manual hand crank by following the emergency procedure previously described. These simple door system do's and don'ts can help ensure everyone's safety. Train your staff annually and train all new hires. Keep the door area clear of obstructions. Maintain your door system as recommended by the manufacturer and always follow the proper procedures for opening and closing your door. Finally, perform the daily and weekly safety checks we described earlier. Now here are some things to avoid. Don't modify the speed of your door. Don't modify the safety sensors in any way. And don't use safeties to interrupt any of your door's functions. Following these guidelines, plus keeping up to date on preventive maintenance, will help ensure the smooth, safe, and efficient operation of your door system. If you would like to have a Nelco representative train your team on the functions and safety features of your equipment, or require maintenance for your door system, please contact Guardian Door Services. Thank you, and enjoy your door system for many years to come.